So hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to talk about uh, the Kronos and the network connectivity. As we know there is no Ethernet connector available on the Kronos directly so we can use a USB to Ethernet adapter. But according to the Korg specification only this list of um, adapters are supported. But I have used my own USB to Ethernet adapter, which is this one, Logilink, and it works as well. So I'm going to talk about a diagram here. Let me show it to you. Here is my Kronos. Here I use any kind of USB hub because in the back of the Kronos I can connect two devices to my Kronos. For example, for example a MIDI controller and one other thing. But you're not restricted to those two ports. You can add one USB hub like this. To extend the number of devices that you can attach to your Kronos, it works. I have tested it. And then you need your USB adapter to connect the USB to this hub. And the other side is this Ethernet connection. And then from the other side of your Ethernet cable, you have to connect it to your switch or your router from where your Kronos can get an IP address. So let's do this connection. So now I'm going to press the global button and then we select the network. So it says cable unplugged. Maybe I have to Plug this once more. And as you can see, it's now saying connecting. So we have to remember this IP address. 192.168.2.9 and the username and password in this case as an example are both Kronos. So now we have to use a piece of software it's called FileZilla. It doesn't have to be the FileZilla you can use any FTP software. For example in this case this is called FileZilla like this. It's a free software, you can use it. And go to the site manager. Here I have a bunch of sites. I want to connect to my Kronos. I would say I want a new site. I call it my Kronos. And here we have to add the, um, insert that address. It was 192, 168. 2.9 and the user was Kronos and the password was also Kronos. Now let's connect. If you continue your password it will be sent to the clear over the internet. So it's a local connection here so I would say it's okay. Now I have access to my uh, hard drive on my Kronos. I can see what I have there. I can copy some files from my computer to this hard disk and I can directly manage my files here from my PC. So this is a way you can transfer your data, your files, or MIDI files or samples directly from your computer. 
uh, to your Kronos. And you can create files here, create directory and manage your, let's say, new directory. You can manage uh, the way your files are. And it's way easier to do it here on your PC than to do it on your uh, Kronos. So I wish this might be helpful for you. And if you like this video, please just smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.